morning, Mexico. Good morning, China. This is the Quash Radio. Today, the topic is how the mice change the fashion world. Because right now, this ephemeral empire says not stick figures. As you don't believe, over the past few decades, the standard of beauty has evolved to include a wide range of ethnicities and looks. Unfortunately, the standard of beauty, which many people see in the media, has also become thinner and thinner. This has caused many women, both young and old, to feel that they are not what society deems beautiful. The results have been devastating, ranging from a dramatic increase in cosmetic surgery to elevated rates of anorexia and bulimia. Finally, the very people hiring these models, who appear on the covers of magazines and on television, have decided to call an end to this. Fashion show organizers in Madrid have made the surprising decision to not employ models whose body mass index BMI is under 18. The BMI is calculated by dividing an individual's weight by their height squared. This figure has been used for many years as an indicator of a person's overall health and fitness. It is generally accepted that individuals with a BMI less than 18.5 are underweight, whereas individuals with a BMI greater than 25 are overweight. The Madrid Fashion Week organizer's decision to restrict the use of sickly looking models has sparked debate among fashion designers, people in the health and wellness field and models themselves. London Fashion Week organizers have refused to make a similar decision, stating that they are leaving it up to the designers. It remains to be seen whether others in the fashion industry chose to follow the lead of Madrid or of London. Also too, another helper to change this situation is Oliviero Toscani. As you know, he's an Italian photographer best known worldwide for designing controversial advertising campaigns for Italian brand Benetton from 1982 to 2000. For this event, in September 2007, exposed a new campaign against anorexia, so he was again controversial due to his shocking photography of an emaciated woman called Isabel Carroll. Regardless, a healthy debate over what a public considers to be a healthy body image may eventually lead people to reconsider their definition of beauty. If you want to know more about this, please visit the website www.metherms.com. Well, I think that's all for today. And Patty, I'll see you next time with more of fashion news. Bye!